Good morning, welcome to Garden Friends. I'm Andrea here in Tampa, Florida, and I am here with my little gardenia bush. I believe it was a dwarf gardenia. Um, I, I killed it, actually, um, the host plant about two years ago. I loved it too much. I don't know very much about the, the specifics of what a gardenia needs, apparently. But before it died, I took a couple of cuttings, and I've grown them, and now they are blooming. Um, he, those cuttings are two years old. It's not very large. I've, it is a dwarf variety, so it wasn't going to get very large to begin with, but I think if I put him in the ground, it might have a little bit more success. Now, the purpose of this video is to compare my little gardenia to my crepe jasmine. I find that this is a much easier plant to grow. It certainly grows a whole lot faster than I've seen gardenias grow. I took this from a cutting that I made about two and a half years ago. A um, little cutting like that. And it's almost as tall as me. I actually have one that is a little bit taller than me from the same batch of cuttings. Now the flower is very similar to a gardenia. I think it lasts longer. The blooming season is certainly much longer. It doesn't smell like a gardenia, but it does have a pretty fragrance. And it's very, very um, prolific with its blooms. It just it, it covers itself with the white flowers. It really is very pretty. Um, standard fertilizer, um, some bone meal if you don't have dogs running around that want to eat it up. Uh, I, I put some Epsom salts to keep my leaves green and my blossom booster to encourage these blooms. It'll take full sun. I think that it likes a little bit of shade. This one gets more shade than my other one. They look about the same. This one's a little bit smaller. That's the only difference that I can see with the shade that this one gets. But it, the leaves are a beautiful color and it is covered in, in blooms. It really is a very, very lovely plant. I find it a lot easier to grow than a gardenia plant. So that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions or comments, you can write them down below. I'll get back to you. If you like my video, then hit that little like button, subscribe. It's always nice to get new friends. And I hope you will consider adding a crepe jasmine to your landscape. It really is a beautiful plant to grow. It's very easy here in Florida and it'll make you happy. So thank you for watching and you keep gardening.